gather up all your money and some of your friends because we're going to be headed to a place with some great golf and some unbelievable food and with enough games and shit to do to keep you occupied for a weekend that is Atlantic City, New Jersey and with all these things to do and golf courses to choose from we teed up one and we took our talents across the bridge to Brigantine Golf Links which is only about a 17 minute drive from Atlantic City but before we do we got to get something to eat at the White House sub shop so a tea and we went off the boardwalk a couple blocks in to the famous White House sub shop and this place gets busy and it's well worth it the thing to get there is the Italian White House sub it's a classic and you see it everywhere and here's a good visual of what this unbelievable sub looks like and right before you play around a golf this is what you're gonna need to put you over the edge to sneak in a couple birdies so first we had to leave Atlantic City and head over the bridge into Brigantine New Jersey but of course before we leave Atlantic City we're gonna have to gamble a ton of money just to make sure that we get to the golf course with some good but first we had to run through the Tropicana Casino to try to find the closest blackjack table to gamble a ton of money before we play some golf. Even though Brigantine Golf Course is a pretty reasonable course to where you could consider yourself playing an arcade when it comes to spending a lot of money. So we headed on to the top floor to hit a golf ball across the bridge to Brigantine. So we looked for a good spot to tee one up and made sure we got on the green over to bring and being just a short drive away there's a lot to like about this 18 hole golf course that's pretty reasonable when it comes to golf courses in South Jersey and one of the biggest downfall about this golf courses is there's houses on every hole so if you did go out and have a ton of drinks and you spray your drives you're gonna hit a house on Brigantine Golf Course but I'm pretty sure they're all rentals and you could just move on to the next hole as we did and after a quick nine at Brigantine of hitting about 14 to 15 different houses, we started to gather an appetite. And knowing we just had subs, what better way to compare subs by going to Ernest and Sons, which is only about a seven minute drive and is the one of the most famous places in Atlantic County in regards to food. And this is a hidden gem opening in 1977 and being on diners, drive-ins and dives. Now everything on this menu is a must try. They have different types of sandwiches that are named after friends and family that Mel, the owner, has. Uh, this was the chicken, oh no, the, the, was it the ranch? Chicken ranch. This is a great sandwich. This is one of my favorite sandwiches there. Uh, it's more of a buffalo chicken ranch. This might have been the buffalo chicken ranch here. But we got no time to lollygag. We got to get back to the course now. And there's a, still a lot of golf to be played. So we're going to head back to this link style course because we haven't hit a house yet at Brigantine Golf Course. Now the course opened in 1927 by Scottish golf architect Wayne Stiles and John Cleek. And is considered the only authentic Scottish golf links golf course in New Jersey which I didn't know that until reading the website and getting right into the stats of the course if you look at the back tees it plays about 6,507 yards so it doesn't play that long and about 5,254 yards from the front tees now if you do play for the back tees it is a big difference I would recommend trying to all play the same tee boxes because on this course it can get very dangerous that the person is not that good and they're playing from the back tees. Now the course is a par 72 that is a slope of 123 from those tees and a 70.2 ranking. The furthest hole on the golf course plays about 551 yards. The course has decent reviews. Golf Now puts it at about a 3.5 and Google has it a little bit over a 4. I wouldn't put this golf course over a 4 by all means, but if you got it for the right price on Golf Now, uh, it's definitely a, a course that you would want to play if you're in Atlantic City with some friends. The biggest turnoff with the golf course is absolutely the residential area that you'll end up hitting golf balls in the whole time. The fairways and the greens were the greatest part about this golf course and I would say the roughs and this actually the sand bunkers were terrible at this course uh, 
and that might be just seasonal but the sand bunkers were no good uh, and the rough was kind of a little bit patchy pricing for this golf course and go up in the hundreds of dollars about 120 dollars in the summer i believe i think it's a municipal course so it is a little bit cheaper than other courses uh but you know what if you're looking to play some fun golf outside of atlantic city this is the spot to play so that's really going to do that for this video keep a lookout for more videos to come we're going to be hitting major cities in the United States where we're going to be ranking golf courses in every country. World Twilight Golfer is going to be on a roll with shorts and more videos to come. So I would subscribe below if you're looking to get involved in those videos. So if you spray a bomb, heads up.